God, I ask that Your Holy Spirit speak through me. I ask it in Your name for Your sake. Amen. Jude 1.9 says, in Jude 1.9, the angel Michael disputes with the devil about the body of Moses, about the dead body of Moses. Before we can understand the contention for Moses' body after his death, we have to understand who the man Moses was. Moses was one of the most important prophets in Judaism and Christianity. The Bible says that Moses was one of the most important Israelite leaders and was the lawgiver to whom under the direction of the Holy Spirit wrote the first five books of the Bible which the Jewish people call the Torah. T-R-A-H. He was one of five in the Bible accounted to have seen God face to face before Jesus, God the Son, walked on the earth with the disciples. So Adam and Moses and Eve and Isaiah and the Apostle John saw God face to face. In Exodus 33:11, it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. So what a thing for God to call you his friend. And we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior. God will call us his friend. We'll be a son and a daughter of God. That's something to think about. According to the Bible, Moses' parents were from the tribe of Levi. According to Exodus 1 and 2, Moses was born at a time when the Hebrews were enslaved in Egypt, but were increasing in population. As a result, the Egyptian pharaoh at the time worried they might become allies with Egypt's enemies. So Moses' mother, Jorabed, secretly hid him when Pharaoh ordered all Hebrew boys to be killed in order to reduce the Jewish population. When, jo when Jorhabed was unable to hide Moses any longer for fear he would be found by Pharaoh's people and killed, she took a basket made of papyrus plants and coated it with tar and pitch. She put the baby in it and set it among the papyrus plants near the bank of the Nile River. And the baby's sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Pharaoh's daughter saw the basket and opened the basket, and she later adopted Moses as her own son, and with her help, Moses grew up with the Egyptian royal family, and Pharaoh's daughter watched over him and raised him to maturity. During Moses' education, he learned that he was a Hebrew, and his knowledge gave him concern for the welfare of the Jews, of his people. Give me a little history of Moses so you can know something if you don't already know about him. At the age of 40, Moses had to flee the anger of Pharaoh and he fled across the Red Sea to a place called Medan. On his journey in Exodus 3-2, an angel of the Lord spoke to him from the burning bush and God sent Moses back to Egypt to demand that Pharaoh release the Jews from slavery. In Exodus, God sent Moses many times to Pharaoh to tell Pharaoh to let the Hebrews go, that they may serve him, that they may serve God. But Pharaoh continued to refuse or go back on his word. For Pharaoh's stubbornness and refusal to let God's people go, God brought plague after plague on Egypt. After ten plagues, Pharaoh gave in but not without another final pursuit which led to the destruction of a part of his finest army. Moses led the exodus of the Israelites out of Egypt to cross the Red Sea, after which they settled in Mount Sinai, the place where Moses received the Ten Commandments from God. Moses died on Mount Nebo at the age of 120 within sight of the Promised Land. In Deuteronomy 32 there was a time where Moses broke faith with God and did not uphold God's holiness. So. Moses was not allowed to enter the promised land. Jude 1.9 Jude 1.9 says, says that the archangel Michael had the dispute or struggle with Satan about the dead body of Moses. The book of Jude tells us that God sent the angel Michael to deal in some way with the dead body of Moses, which God himself had buried after Moses' death. What was the struggle over Moses' body about? 
God knew that men would be tempted to worship Moses, who had developed a great reputation among Israel and other nations. Therefore, God never allowed men to know where Moses was buried. Therefore, God never allowed men to know where he buried Moses. I believe the devil wanted Moses' body because people have the tendency to worship the created things rather than the Creator. Paul in Romans 1.25 says that people exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator. An example of this happening in the Old Testament is when the Jews worshipped the bronze serpent that Moses had made. Moses had molded the bronze image as a direct instruction from God given to him for the people's deliverance. But it was only meant to be a symbol of God's healing and not as an idol to be worshipped. Some people, some people look to the image as the healer instead of worshipping God. Some people look to the image as the healer instead of worshipping God who inspired the action of Moses. And God was actually the healer of all men, not that image. Also one of the problems that Jesus had with the Pharisees was their worship of the law of Moses instead of letting the law lead them to their need for a savior. I believe Satan wanted the body of Moses to be available. I believe Satan wanted the body of Moses to be available to the people to tempt them to worship Moses' bones rather than God. I believe this is what the struggle with the angel Michael over Moses' body was about. God knew that men would be tempted to worship Moses who had developed a great reputation among Israel and other nations. Therefore God never allowed men to know where Moses was buried. Satan is in the business of trying to rob God of his glory. And he is the one who deceives people in the ways of idol worship. If it had been known where Moses was buried, people could have made a pilgrimage to Moses' grave and worshipped him. And God didn't want that to happen. God, I hope something I said helps someone else get in your name and for your sake. Amen.